Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Thursday, July 18th, 2024. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. Great news, I passed my COVID test and I am free of isolation. And I still got some of those scratchy throats and coffee things going on, but much better. And apparently, I gave it to President Biden. Hey, and even better news, George tells me that the storms last night are ushering in temps in the mid-60s. And that may just be wishful thinking on my part, but it should be better today. George has all that information in just a minute. Anyhow, we do have some news, so shall we? The Anne Arundel County Department of Health is warning about a rabid raccoon found on July 15th on Governor's Bridge Road in Davidsonville. And that's sort of the Davidsonville-Riva border there. If you or a pet had contact with this animal or if your pet has any unexplained wounds, you want to contact the Department of Health at 410-222-7254 during business hours. Or afterwards, you can call the hotline at 443-481-3140. Now, rabies obviously can spread through bites, scratches, or contact with an infected animal's saliva. Residents are urged to ensure that their pets have current rabies vaccinations. Secure your garbage cans, avoid contact with wildlife, and seek medical attention if bitten or scratched by a suspected rabid animal. The Bay Village Assisted Living and Memory Care community in Annapolis was acquired by Sunrise Senior Living coinciding with plans to develop an adjacent independent living facility next door at the old Quantum Sales Facility. Larry Rubeles, who's the CEO of Integra Care, which owned the Bay Village Assisted Living, expressed his gratitude to the Bay Village community and confidence in Sunrise Senior Living's ability to maintain the high standards of care. While Integra Care will no longer be in Annapolis, it will continue to operate other facilities in the region, namely on the Eastern Shore. Residents and their families should not notice any immediate changes due to this transition, and the terms of this transaction were not disclosed. The City of Annapolis Department of Recreation and Parks is going to open up the Laron Fisher Pool at Harbor House in Eastport to the public starting Friday. The pool will be open daily from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now, financial difficulties have prevented the Housing Authority for the City of Annapolis, or HACA, from opening the pool without city assistance. The new pool will provide an additional location for residents to cool down, especially when the Kenneth R. Dunn pool over at Truxton Park reaches capacity. Repairs and inspections have been completed at the Harbor House pool, and the pool will be staffed by Annapolis Recreation and Parks lifeguards through Labor Day. The pool is at 1165 Madison Street, and it is free and open to the public. The city also announced that the Mayor's Office No Harm Team will host weekly community service and resource pop-ups every Thursday in various neighborhoods across Annapolis. The 2024 pop-up tour will run from 3 to 6 p.m., offering free food, refreshments, games, and services such as financial literacy, nutritional health, job training, mental health resources, and more. The events will take place at different locations each week, starting today at Bay Ridge Gardens and ending October 10th at Harbor House. In case of any inclement weather, the events will be canceled, and we do have a full list of dates and locations at ionanapolis.net. Some podcast stuff. Up this weekend on the Local Business Spotlight, we chat with Olivia Surge from Abode Title and Escrow, and that wraps up our mini-series on real estate. We did drop another bonus pod yesterday with Elizabeth and Pam from the Rise and Shine Bakery. And if you missed the one we did yesterday with Tom Papa, definitely give that one a listen as well. Both of them are great, if I say so myself. And in closing, one of the best ways to keep up on the local news is the Daily News Recap email. It goes out every night at 7 p.m., 366 days this year. It is free, free. It is paywall free. And I'm putting a link right here in the show notes for you to sign up. And please do me a favor. Make sure you let your friends, family, and colleagues all know about it as well. All right, that's a wrap. As always, thank you for being you. And a thank you to the sponsors for the Daily News Brief, Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, and Hospice of the Chesapeake. 
All right, so now you just need to sit back because we have weather from DC MDVA Weather, and because it is Thursday, we have Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace here with your Annapolis Makerspace Maker Minutes. All that's coming up for you in a minute, so hang tight. Coping with advanced illness can be overwhelming, and determining the best options for a loved one isn't always so easy. But here at Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, we want you to know you do have a choice. You can choose exactly who provides the care and the type of care you receive. And it's your decision when and where your loved one receives that care. We have served our community, family, and friends for over 40 years. We are there when you need us. Learn how we can help at hospicechesapeake.org. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DC MDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DC MDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DC MDVA weather, and this is your eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, July 18th. Yesterday was the last of the heat and humidity for a while. And while we may see a scattered shower or storm today, conditions should be sunny dry and relatively comfortable Friday through the weekend ahead of the next chance for rain Monday and Tuesday. Look for highs today in the upper 80s to maybe lower 90s with a scattered shower or storm across the region with nicer conditions tomorrow with mostly sunny skies and highs in the 85 to 91 degree range. As for the weekend, the expectation is for more sunshine with PM highs staying in the upper 80s to maybe lower 90s with temperatures around the 90 degree mark for PM highs Monday and Tuesday with a chance each day for some PM showers and storms. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DCMDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe and be sure to follow DCMDVA Weather on Facebook and X for updates each day along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info so you can always stay weather informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Is all this talk of inflation making you uneasy? Me too, especially the uncertainty. How bad will it eat into my future purchasing power? Well, don't feel helpless because solar energy can give you some financial control. By installing and owning your solar system, you can lock out electricity cost inflation by locking in your electricity price for more than 25 years. Many of our inflation-fighting clean energy systems offset 100% of the annual electricity demands. Customers frequently add electric vehicle charging and backup batteries to their solar projects, providing them inexpensive auto fuel and additional energy security for the home. Freeze energy inflation in its tracks by committing to affordable, clean solar energy. Call us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. But don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a waste. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. Every week, makers, crafters, and educators hold events all over the area. Highlighting some of those, here's our Maker Minutes, brought to you by Annapolis Makerspace. Hey, this is Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. At Chesapeake Lake Craft in Annapolis, next week is the second week of their Teardrop Camper Workshop, so you probably missed out on that one. But registration is open for some classes coming up in September, including ones making scary day sailors, lap streak dinghies, and more. And it's some pieces off of Bestgate Road. On Saturday, there's a basic sweater knitting class. Sunday, there's Christmas baubles in July. Monday, there's a comprehensive learn to crochet class. And on Tuesday, there's another comprehensive learn to crochet class. And registration is open for their evening of emotional support knitting, granny square pullover sweater, remedial crochet, and a couple more granny square classes. Coming up later in July and August at Blended Essentials in Savannah Park, kids' summer camps have started. Camps include making candles, soaps, bath bombs, lotions, and more. And each camp has a different theme. Next week's theme is Sweet Shop at Local by Design. Wednesday, check out their Fused Glass Nightlight and Votive Holder Workshop at Art Farm in Annapolis. Sunday, there's a monthly batik workshop, and their kids' summer art camps are in full swing. All next week, check out a kids' art camp for ages 6 through 8 and a podcast camp for ages 10 through 15. And registration is open for more kids' art camps with topics such as kids' art, weaving, hand-drawn comics, animal art, clay, and more. And also check out their brand new Creative Circle monthly meetup where you can work on your own projects in whatever medium you enjoy with like-minded creative people or follow the prompts from the instructor. The next one is coming up August 1st at the Anne Arundel County Public Library System this week. Today, Edgewater has a family STEM night with Secret Agent Science. Mountain Road has Adventurers Guild. Bush Annapolis says Make a Mini Adventurer. 
painting miniatures, and Deal has an art night with Kawaii Art. Saturday, Eastport Annapolis Neck has built it with Lego. Crofton has Ask a Master Gardener. Deal has a drop-in family Lego build and play challenge. And Savannah Park has a community service craft afternoon, making bookmarks for library users. On Monday, Glen Burnie has Lego Club. And Brooklyn Park has an adult craft afternoon. On Tuesday, Glen Burnie has Little Artist Process Art. Brooklyn Park has Steam Adventure with the Science Guys, who will also appear at the Savannah Park Library later that day. Discoveries has All Abilities Art, welcoming teen and adult artists of all abilities. Odin has Craft for a Cause, making heart pillows. Severn is watching the Lego movie with a craft night. And Maryland City has a family craft night, making reusable t-shirt bags. And then on Wednesday, Edgewater has Steam Adventures with the Science Guys. And they'll also be at the Bush Annapolis Library on Wednesday. At Annapolis Makerspace this week, on Tuesday, check out our monthly open house for anyone who wants to check out the shop, as well as new members who need orientation. If you have any questions about the Annapolis Makerspace, the Maker Minutes, or any of these events, feel free to contact me at trevor at makeannapolis.org. And you can find links to all of these events at the Annapolis Makerspace website, also at makeannapolis.org. And whether you're making art, software, sawdust, or just a mess, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Have you ever had to wait to get an appointment at the Apple Store? Skip the wait and the line at the mall by visiting MacMedics in Severna Park or Lanham, where appointments are not necessary. MacMedics is an Apple authorized service provider. MacMedics services all Apple devices, including broken iPhone screens and batteries, and all without an appointment. Most iPhone repairs are complete the same day and usually within a few hours. MacMedics is also an Apple authorized reseller and sell Apple products at the same price as the Apple Store. Visit MacMedics in Severna Park or Lanham for Apple authorized sales and service and shop local. Don't wait for help. Call MacMedics at 410 757 MAX, which is 410 757 6227. It's 410 757 6227. Or visit them online at MacMedics.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, eyeonannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Eye on Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.